how to build an easy and efficient iron farm plus trading hall in Minecraft. And these are the resources you will need for this iron farm plus trading hall. So the first step to this iron farm is to find yourself a location to build it. And after you find yourself somewhere to build it, build 5 blocks going upwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then destroy the 4 bottom blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then after you've done that, simply build 8 blocks going out from this middle block in every direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And after you've done this, you can head into the middle and destroy the middle block right here. And then simply head into each of these kind of pillars you built going out outwards and then simply link them up with each other and then of course fill in the middle to make a big platform. Okay so after you've done this head into one of the corners of the farm place a temporary block going upwards build one block going outwards and then destroy that first block. Then simply from this block build three more blocks going outwards one two three and basically what you will need to do now is build a new four block thick platform going all around this first platform we just built. Okay so if you didn't understand what I just said this is basically what I mean. So we have the bottom platform right here which basically from this middle hole right here there's eight blocks going until the end right here and then we have another four blocks right here and then after you've done this head into one of the corners again build a temporary block one more block going out destroy that block and then simply build a one block high wall going all around the platform you just built the next step is then to head into each corner of the farm build three more block top right here and then one more block in a corner right here so then do the same on all the sides so three blocks at the end of Kind of the corner of the platform with one block right in front of it just like this if that makes sense so after i've done this simply place a water source on each of the blocks we just placed just like this at now the next step is to place more water that will then run towards the middle. I'd recommend you make an infinity water source unless you have a bunch of buckets and are building this close or on top of an ocean. But anyways, to do this, simply head into one of the corners right here and from this block right here, we'll count two blocks to the right, so one, two, and on the third block, place yourself another water source. And then simply build or place more water sources until you get to the other side where there's pretty much two blocks left. So place water until there is right here. And then you should basically have two empty spaces where there's no water right here. So basically from here, count two blocks to to the right and then place a water source so one two and then a water source and then you spill water sources until you get to the other side and there's two blocks left so right here then you have one two three one more one two then one more and then we have one two all right good okay so if you have done this correctly water should be flowing towards the middle hole just like this so if we jump into here we will slowly get stuck on this block right here but there is a fix for that simply place another block right here and then another block right here so now this will be kind of the same shape as what you have on top of here so if we then jump into here we will not get stuck right here we will just continue to flow towards the middle so then do the same on all the sides simply just expand this block right here by two blocks so one on each side just like that and then right here too so when we jump into here we will not get stuck anywhere but we will just flow towards the middle okay so now we're pretty much done with the water and the platform where the iron golems are going to spawn so now we're going to have to kill them which we're going to do using magma blocks so simply around this hole there will be nine stone blocks or any type of building block you placed simply replace those nine blocks with magma blocks instead just like this and we're also going to have another magma block right here in the middle. So after you've done that, head under the farm right here and then place a temporary block under the middle magma cube block. And then simply build two hoppers going downwards just like this and then have a double chest right here. So anyways, after you've done that, destroy this temporary block you just placed. Then place a railing on top of this hopper and then place a hopper minecart on top of that railing. Then what you can do is place nine glass blocks going all around this minecart just to prevent yourself from accidentally hitting it off. So now what we're going to do is get up the beds. So for an iron farm to work, you're going to need a minimum of 20 villages. And for a villager to spawn iron golems or whatever, they're gonna need a workstation and a bed. And we're gonna keep the beds in the middle to keep it all nice and simple. So to do that, basically right under the glass, build a platform going all around the glass or one block under the glass. This will be a temporary platform, so you can build this out of any type of block you want. So simply just build a platform right here that we're going to have the beds on. Then expand this by one more block, just like this. Okay, so now we have a two block long platform and this platform will hold just enough beds for iron golems to spawn. So simply just place yourself 20 beds on top of this platform and yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And after you place those 20 beds, you can simply destroy all these blocks you have under here. Okay, so we're almost done, but now we just need to build the little rooms that the villagers are going to be on. So basically the trading hall. So simply head to the corner of one of the farms and right before you hit the top wall right here. So basically at the top part of the main platform, if that makes sense. Right here, look straight down, place a block and then build a wall of blocks in until you reach the same block on the other side. 
just like this so now we have reached the other side of the kind of corner of the platform right here so then just follow the same pattern and build the same as I just did all around the farm okay so now I'm done with the outline so if you have noticed correctly you can head into one of the corners look straight up and you should hit the block right here now I also want to mention that I'm just building this just like this just to make it symmetrical but of course you can build this bigger if you want to you can even have it smaller if you want to but just remember that you will need to have a minimum of 20 villagers inside there so build it accordingly to that but with the size I'm building it right here we will have more than enough space for even more villagers so you can do a bunch of trading so after you build this wall around the farm simply build this wall one block higher then after you build this wall in each of these corners build a two by two wall that's two blocks high if that makes sense just like this and then do that in all of the corners so after you build this in a corner simply head to any of the corners and then leave an empty space to any of the sides of this kind of two by two square we built right here then place four blocks just right here and then just copy this on all of the sides because we're going to have the villagers right here and then the workstation to the villager right here so have an empty space right here then four blocks right here empty space four blocks empty space four blocks empty space four blocks and then just do this on all of the sides okay so after we've done this on all of the sides we just need to make sure that the villagers can't escape these rooms because if we place a workstation right here and a villager inside here they will be able to jump over the workstation so to prevent that simply build a row of blocks going all on top the front side of each chamber or room or whatever you want to call it just like this okay so after we've done that the farm is pretty much done so we really just have one more step and that is to get all the villagers you want to have inside of here so to say we will need a minimum of 20 villagers inside of here for the iron farm to work but you can have more villagers if you want and there is more space but to quickly say if you're gonna have more villagers you will need more beds so to get started you will need to get a minimum of 20 villagers inside of each of these chambers so i am in creative of course so i'm simply just gonna spawn one in but you can do this however you want so just get a villager inside of here and then place a workstation and make sure that the villager picks up the workstation which it there it did so then simply get yourself another workstation with another villager wait for it to choose the workstation there we go so then just do this with a minimum of 20 villagers and um yeah okay so i just finished getting 20 villagers inside of here so to make sure that this works you can simply head out of here and as you see an iron golem has already spawned so yeah that is pretty much it and iron golems spawn really fast so just to show you how the collecting system works if we just wait for iron golem to spawn you will see that the hoppers will pick up the items Oh, and another iron golem spawned too. That is also the great thing about this farm is that multiple iron golems can spawn at the same time. But anyways, the iron golem spawns. So let's head into here and check it out. So as you see, the items will go into this chest. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this one. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions about how this works, feel free to comment them and I'll answer you right away. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.